Hey there everybody, this is Piper here and welcome to another Rome tour video. So this video is going to be all about pikes. It's going to be a, a bit of a tutorial video but it's basically going to be a, a rundown of the best pikes in the game and it's basically what I think so it's a bit subjective but I've done a bit of testing today and from previous knowledge and experience this is what I think are the best pike in the game. So like previous videos of this sort I've actually modded the game files and I put all the pikes into one army. So that means we can go through uh, the unit cards, go through the stats and look at the strengths and weaknesses. So before I'll start, I'll go through some general tips with pike. Uh, I've covered these things in previous videos, but I'll go through it fast again. Um, there's two sorts of different pikes in the game. There's pikes that have long spears. Uh, like Royal Pike Men and Pikes that have short spears and de depending on who you're fighting you should have, if you have long spears versus short spears you want to be standing in guard mode and let the short spears attack you if you're short spears versus long spears for example Sacred Band versus Royal Pike you want to take guard, mo guard mode off your short spears and attack the pike. If it's short versus short, uh, a bit subjective but usually the best thing is to have guard mode off on both units. Um, usually long spears are considered better in Rome to War. If it's one versus one stats are exactly the same, long, sh long spears are better because they seem to get a few extra kills at the start which gives them an advantage. Uh, try and use all attack to direct phalanx to the targets because that keeps all the pikes one direction and make use of the halt button and all the pikes have a secondary sword usually or a dagger um, if they get too close to the enemy they'll take away their spears and use the secondary spears are better than the secondary so you can press the halt button usually the de default backspace and that brings spears down so without further ado we'll look at all the pikes in order of ranking so number one spartans so spartans are the best in the game in my opinion look at the stats here uh, these guys have short short spears short short pikes they have excellent morale very good on the stamina um, also another thing before we actually start, there's actually two lists in this game, uh, well two columns rather, column one, um, these are slower pikes, column two, these are faster pikes. So I'm going to cover infantry speeds in a future video, uh, there's four speeds of in infantry, there's tier one, tier two, tier three and tier four, tier one are slingers. Tier 2 are archers and skirmishers, anything fast moving. Tier 3 and tier 4 are a combination of different units. But for the purposes of this video, we've got tier 4 here and tier 3. So Spartans, best in the game. So the second video, uh, the second unit rather, is Sacred Band. So Sacred Band have actually better stats than the Spartan hoplites, but the Spartan hoplites get hit points, which means they're more valuable. Uh, they seem to last a lot longer. Sacred Band are very good for the price, and one versus one, they're better value than Spartans. But if both these units were gold gold, Spartans would win. So Sacred Band are second in the list. So short pikes, good morale, good stamina. So next on the list we have armoured hoplites. And I wasn't too sure whether armoured hoplites were better than royal pike. So I actually tested this and armoured hoplites are better than uh, royal pike men. So they're similar on the stats to sacred band but they don't have the attack of sacred band and they're a little bit less on the defence. Uh, they have good morale, good stamina, and like Sacred Band, they have short pikes. So next we have Royal Pikemen. 
and roll the Macedonian phalanx get an extra 20 men and that goes for the phalanx pikemen and the levy pikemen and that's actually quite a big advantage um, so we'll look at raw pikemen they have long spears and as I said at the start of the video if you're fighting with long spears you want to take advantage of the distance and keep your men in guard mode and keep your men standing when you're fighting other pikes especially shorter piked units so raw pikemen, long spears Good morale, good stamina, and just like the rest of the units so far, they're tier 4 on the speed. So, next we have silver shield pikemen, and we also have bronze shields. And these two units are equal, they have equal stats, um, equal speeds, everything's equal. I think the bronze shields are slightly cheaper, possibly. Bronze shields here, they're 690. And silver shields are 730. So they're equal on. They're not equal on the. Equal on the stats. Uh, bronze shields are slightly cheaper. So that might be an advantage, but for one versus one purposes, they're equal on the stats. So check out some of the features. So they have long spears, just like the Royal Pike Men. Good morale, good stamina. The only thing you need to watch out with these units are they're actually meant to be elite pike units but if you check out the the shield they only have two on the shield so they have better stats than some of the units down here but for an elite unit uh, especially pikes don't have very good defense with the shield so that makes them vulnerable to arrows so if you're ever playing in like 31k battles you need to protect these guys versus missile weapons. So next we have uh, Pharaoh Guards and these guys are recruited by Egypt and again just like the previous units they have very poor uh, defence stats especially on the shield don't have a shield they have very high defence skill which means they're vulnerable to arrows and missile weapons so they have short spears, they have good morale, good stamina, and they are the exact same speed as the previous units, so they're tier 4 on the speed. So if you're playing in any 31k battles or any CWB, these guys are a bit, they, a bit susceptible to archers and slingers. So next we have 20 infantry. These guys are created by Carthage. So they have short spears. They have good morale and good stamina, and they're also tier 4 on the speed. They have a much better shield than uh, Pharaohs, so they're probably more versatile in a battle than Pharaohs, because they'll obviously be able to defend against uh, missiles much better, but for 1 versus 1, Pharaohs beat 20, and this was tested earlier today. So next on the list we have Phalanx Pikemen, and these actually are recruited by several different factions. So they're actually pretty good uh, Phalanx, uh, they don't really have any abilities. Uh, the next units in the list, they seem to have very, they don't seem to have many abilities. The only thing the Phalanx Pikemen have are, they have long spears, which is quite a big advantage. Um, if used correctly and they're also tier 4 on the speed so the next unit in the list is actually another unit called phalanx pikemen and there's actually two units called uh, the exact same in Rome to war there's two phalanx pikemen there's a standard one that for example macedon system pirate thrace can recruit and there's another one that only pontus can recruit so that's the standard one there and that's the one Pontus can recruit, only Pontus. So they have 20 men less than the regular one but they have an extra 3 on the shield so an extra 3 on defence. Again like the other ones they have very long spears and they're tier 4 on the speed but 1 versus 1 they're not quite as good. 
but they are better than heavy spearmen. So that's where they are on the list, and I actually forgot about this uh, when I recorded the original footage. It was actually a player called Spitfire that reminded me. So if you ever go Pontus, you don't really want to bring these phalanx, you want to bring the, the bronze shields, uh, but these could be useful in a, a pipe box formation. So next we have Heavy Spearmen, these are recruited by Armenia, and just basically looking at the stats, again they don't have any ability, Any they can form phalanx, bonus fighting cavalry, just like the rest of the phalanx. Um, they have short spears, and they're tier 4 on the speed. Uh, so now the rest of these units, they're, they're pretty weak on the abilities, they don't really have any abilities at all to be honest. Um, the next is Hoplites, and these are recruited by Greece. And just like the rest of the Phalanx down here, not really anything on the abilities, but they're faster. They're tier 3 on the speed. And to be honest, speed isn't really a big issue with infantry. Um, having units that are, they have good morale, very good morale, eh, good stamina rather, that appears to be a better advantage because they can, they don't tire as fast. But this could be useful knowledge if you're trying to rush at the start of a battle, if you're trying to chase down archers, uh, maybe chase down chariots. Uh, this could be an advantage uh, depending how it's used. So hot plates, they're next on the list, no abilities, but they are tier 3, so they're faster than the other phalanx. Okay, next on the list, Spear Warband. And again, just like the hot plates, um, they are short spears and they're tier 3. And one thing to mention with the Spear Warband is they have a charge bonus of 5, so it's slightly higher than the rest of the pikes. Don't have any abilities as such, but they are pretty good for for what they do. You get an extra sixty, you get an extra twenty men, just like the Macedonian pike. So they are quite good. Uh, the thing to remember using these sort of pikes, uh, they don't have the morale of the other units, so you have to be really careful when you're fighting against chariots, and you need to make sure that these guys don't get outflanked either. So one versus one, Spear War Band are next. Uh, we have now Spearmen, and these are a unit recruited by Egypt. So these guys do get a shield, so they're slightly, they might be slightly better than the Pharaohs versus missile units. They don't have the, the melee stats of the Pharaohs, and they're also tier 4 on the speed. So again, they're a little bit weak on the stats and they're not as fast as the other units. And now spearmen are probably I had to really test them out versus the spear warband. They're quite similar, but I think the spear warband are slightly better. Uh, they seem to come out on top more often. And obviously uh, short spears for now spearmen. So next we have Levy Pikemen. And these guys are actually pretty good value, actually. Uh, the stats are pretty weak, to be honest. Uh, but they have very long spears, and again, they have poor morale. So again, uh, they're tier 3 on the speed. So they could be utilised in a rushing army, possibly. Or maybe it's brought versus chariots, because they are a bit faster than the raw pikemen. But again, they have low morale which may be a problem if you get flanked or you're fighting um, chariots or potentially berserkers or something that maybe scares them a bit. So next we have, last on the list, we have Nubian Spearmen. Spearmen. And these guys have pretty good skins, they're pretty good uh, uniforms and militia hot plates. So these two units are equal on the stats. Uh, they're tier 3 on the speeds. We'll just check out some of the, the unit cards right here. So again, don't have any abilities just like the rest of the the lower ranked uh, spears. Uh, but they have poor morale as well. And they have equal stats to the militia hoplites and the cost is the same as well. Uh, the only thing that differs is the skins. These guys, these guys are pretty good uh, uniforms. I do like the, the Egyptian um, I like how they're they're fairly low in the armor, 
look pretty cool. And obviously, yeah, tier three of the speed and short pike. So what I'll do is I'll amalgamate all this information at the end of the video, get it in a list form, so you guys can refer back to it. And again, I think this is a pretty good list. Again, all lists are subjective. It, de it depends how these units are used in battle, to how they perform. You need to use guard mode on some of them, take guard mode off, use them in a certain way. But for, for the purposes of one versus one, I think this list is pretty accurate. But again, it's a bit subjective. It's what I think. Uh, you guys might think something different. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, I'll put it all in a text document and attach it to this video. And that means you guys can refer back to it. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with this list? Or do you think maybe Royal Pikemen are better than Armoured? So let me know what you think. Please like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Piper signing off.